do. So King Chris, uh, also going under the tag, lights versus me, sword fighter. Um, Optimistically, going to hope the connection is as good as it can be for Mexico. Um, but yeah, again, another matchup that I have literally never seen. That tornado might do a lot in neutral though. Um, Zero Suit Samus, a lot of her grounded approaches, like is he getting stuffed? Great reaction with that up be out of shield, even so early. Um, and tornado is a really, really good projectile, just on a character that like doesn't get to, you know, see as much turning play as the others. But it has like set knockback. There's a whole bunch of like true combos you get out of it. It's really, really good. So uh, King Chris is gonna have to be cognizant of that. Um, but so far, so good. My. Goodness, really trying to clean up these stocks. A couple chances there with those paralyzers off stage, uh, but just missed the mark. And uh, OMFG is still able to kind of hang out for a little bit. Now, now my thing with the hero spin and the tornado is that I I've been told by other e sword fighter players that they they actually prefer to um they, they prefer to just have the Tornado convert out of up air instead of trying to go for hero spin, just because they they would have the bet they want to have the better recovery. Oh, so they, yeah. they don't use hero spin; they instead use the uh, the rising. I guess I don't know what to call it, but they they kind of swirl themselves around the air and they, they cover themselves a good linear distance. The the horizontal one, that one. Yep. Oh, up air. Oh, I thought it was air. Um, maybe I'm not sure if that was right for the window. Uh, but definitely put some pressure on King Chris, just to remind him that uh, Tornado is a really, really important option that Meteor Fighter has. But so far, Chris looking pretty unaffected, doing really good. Um, got a pretty solid lead. Not going to die from that up smash just yet, even though that was really close. And yeah, so you, you're starting to see him adapt, adapt to that projectile well. You're seeing him flip kick a lot and just kind of like anticipate the projectiles that are coming and just really slowly kind of chipping away here. Not going in, not being like super duper aggressive, just really picking the shots carefully. Yeah, you, as you can see, we are getting a lot of chip damage from ZSS. There's not like a lot of too much happening, but it's oh, okay, going past ledge. Dash that, okay. Whatever's in the way. Kind of like up, dash dash. That's it. There it is. There it is again. Set knockback from an enormous projectile. Honestly, on most of the cast, if it were. Literally anybody else, that would be a little bit scary just because you literally just see them more often, you know? Um, yeah. But yeah. When he gets his first shot. You're starting to see King Chris kind of fire back with uh, some paralyzer shots there too. Just uh, as a reminder that you're not the only one in the projectile game. And of course, Zero Zoom Samus gets everything she could possibly imagine off that paralyzer, so nothing wrong with going for it. Not going to get the bear from that flip kick, but getting pretty close there. Again, really just dancing around the angles that uh, Me Sword Fighter likes to play at. But he's really brought this back. Less than 20% between them. Um, not going to die from that up smash just yet. Oh, another great... Oh, that'll be it. Chris, though. Yeah, he really needed that tornado to hit so he can convert. Maybe like a forward air or something since he's closer to the ledge, but... Flip kick is just so good at just keeping Zero Suit Samus out of dodge. It's one of the things that makes this character so terrifying. It really all levels of play. People put Zero Suit. Oh, people put Zero Suit in their top five. I, they're it's right. Alone. <laughs> like, I don't have a strong argument to tell them why they're wrong. Like, this character is crazy good. Yeah, I don't have a strong argument either. I, I just, like, not a lot of bad matchups. No, not a lot of bad matchups. The fact that you have virtually no disadvantage at all. Like the best disadvantage in the game by far. Yeah, yeah. I, I can see why you're not really a. You're, you are no bad matchup, no bad for stages five. for real, for real. Or very few bad matchups with Finny, but no bad stages, no disadvantage, crazy knockback, strong combos. Like, what does she not have? You know. I think there's a little bit of an execution of execution of area that goes to it, but other than that, you know, hey, just gotta put some work in. Oh, the, the horizontal side of down air coming out. Um, still not enough to kill. I think what it is that King Chris is playing so defensively that um, OMFG is just kind of just struggling to secure these socks, but he finally does. Uh, sneaks in that down smash, really smart stuff. 
um, starting to make the that was so sneaky. Yeah, he hadn't gone for that the whole set or the whole game. <laughs> I can't. Pull, that was. I love how sneaky that was. Why does everybody unshield so fast after that up smash? I don't know. You're seeing yeah, I, in, at this in this case. Just, yeah, just use Chakram. Chakram is just really good at catching a bunch of things in this matchup, and so is the tornado that falls. Ah, oh, I love it. Yeah, it's crazy that even at that super low percent, he still almost got a guarantee confirmed. He was just a little bit too far to actually hit it. Yeah, it's, it's just set knockback. Again, more Chakrams. And King Chris is not really trying to take the bait. He's just kind of letting him throw those projectiles. He knows he has a lead. He doesn't have to go in. But he gives pineapple. Ah, ah, see? You see? You see, that's why me sword fighters will tell me, yeah, that's why we don't like hero sticks. Yeah. And and PS2 is such a common and important stage. It's got to really stink to end up being trapped under. Look at how upset! <laughs> look, the me the me looks so upset, clapping. Yeah, he <laughs> his face is extremely accurate to what happened. Just like that's how I die. All right, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, that's gonna give it to lights uh, for the first game here and. Again, if anyone's just joining, this is just two out of three until the very, very top three. Um, we had a lot of entrance, and, you know, uh, we're pushing a little late here. What time is it? About 10.30? You know, get up there. 10.30. Mm. I, I think we can be finished by midnight. I think that's a, I think that's a good... Oh, yeah, for sure. Good, uh... What, five-ish sets left? Yeah, I, I I know that there is some speculation that um, that uh, we may we we may play a couple of sets offline. I'm not sure. Um, a plant. Oh wow, a plant. piranha plant. Okay. No one told me. What is it, what is it with these whack ass characters, man? Three, two, one. Oh my god, the mask is <laughs> his whole face. <laughs> I love it. I, I love well, how that's how Parada Plant wears his mask. Well, that <laughs> is horrific. Um, it's it's like you see Kirby copy Parada Plant. It's so cute, and then you just see what what if Kirby had like or not Kirby? What if Parada Plant wore a mask? Yeah, I never thought about Parada Plant wearing a mask. I was gonna say it covers up his eyes, and then I was like, I don't think he has eyes. I think he just kind of <laughs> the whole face. I don't know if it's echolocation. I don't know anything about Piranha Plant as far as, like, biology. But anyway, good, let's get into this match. Good Piranha Plants are so frustrating. I I don't know how long this is going to take. This, yeah, they're this, very this may be a, a very. It's going to be a frustrating matchup. And see, oh. as, already, there's not a lot that Zero Suit has been able to do to really kind of keep that advantage that Zero Suit did last game. Yeah, Patui is a I guess really good projectile. Like, a lot of projectiles, if you hit the person, you're like, oh, okay, we're good. But Patui just, it lingers for a while. Great awareness take. and have to power shoot it right there as it bounces on the ground. Um, and I saw a lot of damage coming out from the poison gas, too. You normally don't see piranha plants uh, get away with it right. as, that much outside of, like, a unique setup. But it was working really well. And this is totally even. Trying to sneak in that bite. Not going to happen, though. And I know that King Chris has been trying to punish with Paralyzers, too, because, of course, that does extend his hurt box as he goes for it. Um, but so far, he's might be in a position to take this first stock. If he can get a grab, uh, I think up throw kill from here. Another back air if he's really, really, really cautious. Oh, such a sneaky Patui. I hate that that's the name of that, because it just makes me found, sound stupid when I say it, but that's what, what it's called. All right, yeah, he does get the first stock after all. Okay. And the upbeat, not going to take it. Piranha Plant is... Very heavy. Um, far and above one of the heavier characters in the cast. Um, I heard the but that not was. This is so interesting. This is such a unique neutral, like constantly having that gas out there. And just I think King Chris took so much damage that they are actually kind of just respecting it, you know? Yeah. Also, Piranha Plant's jab is crazy too, crazy good. It's like frame two. It's like a really, really underrated jab. I think him and Zero Suit Samus are kind of jab buddies. It's just everyone knows about Zero Suit Samus. No one really talks about plants. But yeah, plants jab is like crazy, crazy strong. Yeah. <laughs> I 
really careful neutral trying to sneak in those uh zares really doing anything to just kind of like keep uh omg off their game well the the, the small tip of that hitbox was able to just kind of like I, I gotta say oh okay okay try to try to just i love how he sneaks these small little details and oh i love that retaliation that was smart that was really smart. We're seeing a lot of really advanced movement from both these players. A lot of, a lot of, see. a lot of tricky. Yeah, I, oh, I, I can see that uh, King, King Chris is very annoyed with this matchup. <laughs> I don't think he's having <laughs> for sure. Problems. I mean, how how could you not be? Honestly, really on either side of this, but you know, I think there's just so much unfamiliarity that comes with plant that it just adds to it. There, <gasps> the there dare? Is... Oh, I, th I I thought he was going for it. I he might have been, but. Uh, not going to end things there just yet. Oh, that was slick. I love wrapping around him with that uh, flip kick and then coming in with Isaiah. That was super, super nice. Yeah, there's there's not too much that can be done here. I, I, I think what you have to do is just up smash out of shield. But when are you going to see Zero Suit landing on the ground? Yeah, exactly. Oh, more Paralyzer. Ooh, I thought I was going to do it. Yeah, run. Anything will do it at this point. Yeah, for sure. And King Chris is really adapted to uh, the bite coming out there, too. Uh, I don't think too many of them have been successful throughout the match, but they're pretty hardcore whiffing now. Like, it's it's a little bit less of a nail biter now. It's just like, oh, cool, there's bite, and King Chris just will reset neutral for free. That is still okay. <gasps> still okay. I thought it was the up right there. Ooh, the F tilt, oh, nice. Goodness. Uh, at that point, you're just like, go for it. Go for whatever you want. I think the good thing about this here is that the range that King Chris is playing from or was playing from, there wasn't a burst option that could have came from Plant that would have punished it. Like, you saw a lot of, like, if anything, the closest was like an F tilt. But other than that, it was like a lot of Zare, a lot of Side B, a lot of Paralyzer. And it was at this mid range where, like, Piranha Plant had to commit to get more damage and get a punish. And lights just never let it happen. So I think that's kind of why that started to run away super duper hard on that last like 30 seconds there. Yeah. But yeah, life takes that too well. That's going to be it. So 